As uh, City Mayor, it really is a great honour and a pleasure to, uh, to welcome you uh, here this afternoon for uh, an important opportunity for us to pay tribute to somebody astonishing. Uh, I say to welcome you, but actually in some cases it's to welcome you back, because uh, I know that there are people here who, like me, were here some 25 years ago when this park was first named in tribute of, of Nelson Mandela. Uh, and they will recall, like me, that at that time he was still imprisoned. He was still being labelled, shamefully, by the British government as a terrorist. And he was in a country in South Africa that seemed to face no future other than the potential for a bloody civil war and perhaps many thousands, many hundreds of thousands of deaths seemed the only way forward as the way out of the evil of apartheid. And of course what he offered from prison was an alternative to hate, an alternative to despair. He offered love and he offered hope. And, of course, that was an inspiration to us here in Leicester then, as it remains today. There are many people at the time who not only questioned whether it was appropriate to be naming this park after him, but also questioned the location. And many of us pointed to the symbolic presence behind me here of Leicester Prison. And remarked that to name a park in the shadow of that prison after a man who was an inspiration to us was very appropriate indeed and I think it remains so today because of course he was released from imprison, in his imprisonment but the presence of that prison reminds us that there are many across the world who today still suffer imprisonment for their beliefs still offer, still suffer imprisonment because of the regimes of which their countries, under which their countries suffer, and that although much work was done under Mandela's leadership in South Africa, there is much further for that country to go, and there is much further for other re regimes and other countries in the world to go, and that there is much further for us in our city to go. So, we have an opportunity, some 25 years later, to look back on his achievements and his life, to look back on his achievements to the Rainbow Nation, to remember our aspirations for a Rainbow City, and to remember that while much has been achieved by him and in his lifetime, much remains to be done in our lifetime and in lifetimes to come to follow his inspiration and to bring about the change that has been begun by him in his walk for freedom. So I welcome you here today to celebrate the life of Nelson Mandela, but also, I hope, with me, to re reaffirm ourselves, reaffirm our commitment to follow his example today and in the decades and the years to come. Thank you very much indeed for joining me here.